Okay, so the U.S. immigration system, right? it can feel like, you know, you're navigating a maze. Yeah. And it's dark. And you're like, how do I... In the dark? Yeah. Yeah, how do I get through this? And you're not alone if you're feeling a little, I don't know, not excited. I, definitely understandable. About facing this whole thing. Yeah, there are a lot of moving parts. Yeah. And the stakes are high. Yeah. We're talking about your future, yeah. your family's future, maybe. It's yeah. not something... Yeah, the big deal? You really want to just, like, jump into it without yeah. someone to, like, you know, be your guide. Right. Yeah. And that's why we are here today to give you the knowledge and hopefully the confidence to go into it with, you know, eyes wide open. Absolutely. Um, and we are going to be diving into some advice today from Kanu and Associates. They're an immigration law firm based in Phoenix. OK. And they have a really great website mm -hmm. with tons of information. And one of the things I really love that they have on there are client stories. Yes. Because it's one thing to hear it right. from, you know. In theory. Yeah, in theory or from the horse's mouth, so to speak. But yeah. then it's another to hear how it actually played out. Right. Because exactly. people who have gone through it. Yeah. Yeah. And I will say yeah. that's actually what stood out to me the most about them was that human element. Yeah. And they have this tagline and this is like word for word on their website. We are immigrants first and lawyers second. That's really cool. And you know what? It makes mm -hmm. you wonder, were they in your shoes at one point? Yeah. Because, like, why would they even say that? And I, I think that speaks volumes. Totally. About how they approach this whole process. Yeah, I have to admit, it's kind of a breath of fresh air because, yeah. you know, a lot of times you encounter legal jargon and it's very... Very formal. Very formal, very dry. So, And this is like, we're humans first. <laughs> exactly. And it highlights a super crucial point, which is that Empathy matters. Yeah. Especially in a field like this, right? It's yeah. so complex. Yeah. It's emotionally charged. Absolutely. It's not just about paperwork and regulations. Yeah. This is about people's lives, dreams, the future, aspirations. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's um take a look at some of the advice that Kanu and Associates offer. Okay. Yeah. For anyone who's going through this process. And I thought we could kind of go through their website a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so one of the things that stood out to me that they emphasize is planning for delays. Mm -hmm. And they even say on their website that some cases have taken up to three years. Yeah. Three years. I mean, it's, it's a long time. That's longer than some people go to college for some yeah. way to get like a bachelor's degree. Exactly. It's oh, a long time. It highlights a really important point that I think a lot of people maybe aren't aware of or don't realize up front which is that immigration, it's rarely ever a quick process. Right. You know, yeah. there are so many layers and things move. It's a bureaucracy. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so having that long-term perspective from the very beginning right. is yeah. essential. Yeah. So before you even like dive into any paperwork, yeah. taking a step back yes. and thinking of the timeline, yeah, absolutely. It's super important. It is. And I think it's about managing expectations, right? So let's say, you know, you're in a time-sensitive situation. Right. Maybe you have a job offer on the line or you're trying to reunite with family. Mm -hmm. Understanding that there could be potential delays mm. helps you strategize and just navigate the whole process more effectively. Yeah. And that actually leads perfectly into their next point, okay. which is they suggest, and I thought this was really interesting, they suggest filing multiple visa petitions. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about what that means? Yeah. So think of it as like, you know, hedging your bets a little bit, right? Okay. So the U.S. immigration system has all these different visa categories. Right. Each with their own set of requirements, their own timelines. So if you're eligible for multiple categories, maybe through family ties, employment, or investment, mm -hmm. right? Right. Filing for several at the same time yeah. can really increase your chances of, you know, success. So it's like having a backup plan. Yeah. Exactly. That's one of them. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You're not putting all your eggs in one basket. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's all about maximizing those options. Oh, right. That makes total sense. Creating multiple pathways. Okay. So this next piece of advice yeah. seems like a no brainer. Okay. But I have to say it because, you know, sometimes it's the simplest things that we forget. Right. Kanu and Associates really stress the importance of making copies of everything. Yes. And I do mean everything and yeah. sending it all certified mail. Yes. Is that something that people really overlook? You would be surprised. Really? You would be surprised how many people kind of get tripped up by not having the proper documentation. Oh, wow. And remember, you're dealing with a government agency here. That's true. 
the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. Yeah. Or USCIS. 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 Got it. Okay. So, so back to the copies and the certified mail. Yes. Why is that paper trail so important? It's all about self-advocacy in this process. Okay. So having that proof of submission that you sent it, that they received it, yeah. can be a lifesaver if, and I hate to say it, it happens, but if USCIS misplaces something or claims they never got it. Oh, wow. And having that certified mail receipt yeah. can be your golden ticket. It's like they say an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. But in this case, it's like an ounce of prevention is worth, like, you know, pounds of bureaucratic headaches. Exactly. Right. It all ties back to that theme of planning for delays. Yeah. You know, you're not just preparing for things to take time, but you're also preparing for those potential bumps in the road. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that brings us to what is probably the most important decision of this whole process. Yes. And that is choosing the right immigration attorney. Yes. Huge. To guide you through this labyrinth because it is a big decision, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's a very personal decision too, yeah. you know? It's almost like choosing a doctor or a therapist. You need someone <laughs> you can trust, someone who understands your situation and can provide not just legal expertise, right? Right. But also that empathy and support. Because let's be real. Yep. This isn't just about filling out forms correctly. Exactly. This is about your life. It's your life. Your dreams, your future. 100%. Yeah. So you want someone in your corner who gets that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I love that Kanu and Associates, again, back to their website. Yes. They lay out these four key factors that you should consider. Love it. When you are trying to choose an immigration attorney. Yeah. And I think these are really, really fantastic yeah, yeah. Um, starting points for anyone who's feeling like overwhelmed, like, where do I even begin? Absolutely. So let's let's get into it. Okay. What's the first thing? The first thing is references. Yes. References, references, references. Word of mouth is everything. It is. Right. Yes. And don't just rely on like a lawyer's website or their fancy marketing materials. Yeah, yeah. Right. Talk to people they've represented, right? Yes. How was their experience? Did they feel heard? Did they feel understood? Did that lawyer actually go above and beyond right. to help them navigate everything? Because, yeah, you want to know that they know the law. Yes. But you also want to know that they're going to treat you like a human. Exactly. Yeah, not just a case file. Okay, so references are important. Absolutely. And next up, we have credentials. Yeah, okay. Experience matters. Okay. Especially in a field as specialized as this. So how do you gauge experience? Like, what should we be looking for? Yeah, so... Look for attorneys who specialize in immigration law, right? And even more importantly, look for people who specialize in the specific area that you need help with. Okay. Right? For example, Kanu and Associates, they boast over 20 years of experience, which is impressive. Right. But you want to delve a little deeper. Do they have a proven track record with family-based petitions, employment-based visas, or whatever your specific need may be. So it's not just about how long they've been doing it. Right. It's about have they been successful in cases similar to yours? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, got it. So we've got references. We've got credentials. Mm -hmm. What's next? Next up, accessibility. Okay. And I'm not just talking about location, although that is important. Sure. Think about language barriers. Oh, okay. Does this, does the firm you're looking at communicate in a way that's comfortable for you? Yeah, because if I'm if I'm more comfortable speaking Spanish exactly. or Mandarin and they don't have anyone on staff who can speak to me, exactly. that's going to be a problem. Yeah, you don't want to be lost in translation, right? right? Right, exactly. And even think about communication styles in general. Okay. Do they offer consultations that fit with your schedule? Mm -hmm. And do they communicate, you know, through phone calls, video chats, mm -hmm. in-person meetings, whatever your preference is? Because at the end of the day... If I can't get a hold of my lawyer, right. if I feel like my concerns aren't being addressed, right. that is going to add so much more stress exactly. <laughs> to an already stressful situation. It's adding fuel to the fire. Yeah, right. exactly. And that actually leads perfectly to the final and some would say the most important factor, okay. which is trust your gut. Okay. Right? That intuition. Your intuition. They can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with it. Okay. Schedule consultations with a few different attorneys. Mm -hmm. This is your chance to get a feel for their personality, their communication style, their approach. Mm -hmm. Do they listen attentively when you speak? Yeah. Do they answer your questions thoroughly and in a way that you understand? Mm -hmm. Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel confident? 
in their abilities. Yeah, it's like that feeling you get when you meet with a doctor See, and you're I like, I like this person. Yes, you just know yeah. you're in good hands, yeah. So it's okay to be picky. Please be picky. Right. This is a big decision. And it's not just about, you know, do they know, again, do they know their stuff? Mm -hmm. But it's also, do they align with your values, with your communication style? Exactly. Yeah, and I, I love yeah. that Kanu and Associates includes that. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people maybe wouldn't even think about that. But it's so important. And you know what else I love about their website is that they have these client testimonials. Oh, yes. Yeah, those are so, so valuable. They are because, again, it's one thing to hear it from, you know. In theory. In theory. But it's another thing to hear how it actually played out. Exactly. Yeah. So, for example, they have this story about a client named LD hmm. who was stuck in limbo for years with this unresponsive lawyer. I remember that one. Yeah. And they were feeling frustrated, lost, like their dreams were slipping away. Of course. Yeah. And then they switched to Kanu and Associates and everything changed. Yeah. Right. And it wasn't just about, you know, Mr. Kanu's legal expertise mm -hmm. ld talks about how he really listened to them yeah understood their concerns mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. fought really hard for them wow that's amazing and was able to expedite their green card process wow which felt like a miracle after all those years of delay it's amazing what a difference having the right advocate on your side can make it really is. Yeah. And then there's Flower Power's story. Okay. And they talk about how they had this whole ordeal with previous lawyers mm -hmm. who treated them like just another case file, you know? Right, right. Like just another number. Another yeah, number. And their experience with Mr. Kanu was night and day. They yeah. talked about how he went above and beyond Amazing. to support them, even making sure that they had work permits while their green card was being processed. Oh, wow. So he understood the practical challenges they were facing. He gets it. Yeah. He understands. And he was proactive yeah. in addressing them. That's incredible. And to me, that's huge. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because recall the difference. it really does. It really does. It's like he saw them. Yeah. Not just their case. And, you know, absolutely. That personal touch, I think makes all the difference 100 percent. yeah it really drives on that point that even in something like this that feels very complex very kind of impersonal like immigration law yeah human connection matters it does it makes all the difference yeah yeah so big time as we start to wrap up our deep dive today right into the world of U.S. immigration and what it takes to navigate it. Yeah. What are some of the, I guess, key takeaways that our listeners yeah. can um, take with them on their own journeys? Yeah, I think the biggest one is, you know, knowledge is power, right? The more you understand about this process, mm -hmm. the less daunting it will seem. Oh, okay. right. Yeah. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Do your research. Seek out those really reliable sources of information. Like Kanu and Associates website, which right. we've been talking about. A hundred percent. Yeah, that's a great resource. Yeah. And I would say also, don't underestimate the value of having a good immigration attorney in your corner. Yeah. You know, remember those factors we talked about? References, credentials, accessibility, trusting your gut. Yeah, finding that right fit is 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 huge. It can make or break the experience. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think it's important for people to remember this isn't about like just hiring someone to fill out some forms for you. This is about finding an advocate, finding a guide who's going to walk with you every step of the way, yeah. who's going to answer your questions, address your concerns, and really fight for your best interests. Because when it comes to something like this, like your future is on the line. Yes. You deserve nothing less. Absolutely. Trust your instincts. Find an advocate who makes you feel heard, understood empowered right like all of those things are so important i love that yeah it's not just about legal prowess it's about feeling like comfortable yes. and heard and understood by the person who's advocating for you exactly yeah. and you know on that note i just want to remind everyone that of course the information we've shared today is for educational purposes only it's not intended as legal advice of course so if you are facing a specific immigration challenge please please consult with a qualified attorney 
Absolutely. Don't just take our word for it. And if you found this deep dive helpful, Mm -hmm. we would love for you to share it with a friend or a family member who might also be navigating this process because you never know. You know, it Mm -hmm. could really help them out. And until next time. Yes. Stay curious and stay informed. It's good. It's like he really went the extra mile, you know, and those small, thoughtful things can truly make all the difference in an experience like this. Yeah, for sure. It just reinforces that human connection even in something like immigration law that's complex and might seem impersonal. Right. Absolutely. So we've talked about a lot today, but as we wrap up, what are some of the biggest takeaways? If our listeners only remember a couple things from this deep dive about the U.S. immigration system, what would you want those to be? Well, I'd say, first off, remember, knowledge is power in this process. Mm -hmm. The more you know, the less intimidating it's going to feel. Right. So don't be afraid to ask questions and look for good information. Like we said, check out Kanu and Associates' website. Exactly. Tons of good resources on there. And speaking of resources, don't underestimate the importance of a good lawyer. Huge, yeah. Remember those things we talked about? References, experience, all that good stuff. Finding that good fit with an attorney can make a world of difference in your experience. Yeah, and this isn't just about finding someone to fill out the forms. It's about an advocate, somebody to walk with you through all the ups and downs, answer your questions, and look out for your best interests. You want someone you trust. Exactly, 100%. And at the end of the day, you gotta trust your gut too. Choose an advocate who makes you feel heard and empowered. Couldn't have said it better myself. And of course, guys, remember, this is all just for informational purposes, not legal advice. Right. If you're going through something specific related to immigration, please consult a qualified attorney. Absolutely. And if this deep dive has been helpful for you, we'd love for you to share it maybe with a friend or family member who's also navigating this process. Yeah, spread the knowledge. Exactly. You never know who you might be helping. And until next time, everyone, stay curious and stay informed. We'll see you next time. Sounds good. See you then.